Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm trying out the viral date bar that apparently tastes just like a Snickers bar. We're gonna try it out. I'm gonna elevate it and put my own spin on it like always. So, the first thing that I did was toasted my nuts. Here, I'm using pecans. I chopped them up just roughly and I'm gonna heat them in a skillet over medium heat with a couple tablespoons of butter and of course, some cinnamon. I'm doing this just to give a little pizzazz and a little more depth of flavor. Um, and I'm using pecans instead of peanuts because one, all I had was pecans, and two, I honestly prefer pecans over any other type of nut. It just is my favorite. So we're gonna toast these up, let them get nice and browned, and this is just gonna help um, enhance the flavor and draw out some of those natural flavors. So next I'm going to line a cup with some saran wrap and I also rub some oil at the bottom or you could do some nonstick spray. This is just going to ensure that the dates don't stick. I have some pitted dates here. Um, if your dates are not pitted, go ahead and take those pits out before you do this um, and just smash away. We're gonna smash them as thin as you could get them. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the dates. You don't need to soak them. Um, we just want them nice and even so that when we start layering everything, it just isn't this thick bite of date. So here I'm just going to align them all into kind of like a square or rectangle. I wanna make sure I have a bite of the date in every single bite that I take. So I'm just gonna um, align them all together um, just to create a even layer. The next thing I'm going to do is add some peanut butter. I have about half a cup of melted peanut butter. Here I'm using crunchy just for some extra texture, but if you prefer creamy, that is totally fine. Just microwave it for about 30 seconds or so to make sure it's nice and pliable. And then we're just going to spread this evenly over our layer of dates. Next is some melted chocolate. The same thing, half a cup, we're gonna melt this. I melted it with about a tablespoon or so of coconut oil just to give it that glossy finish. Um, and we're just going to spread this evenly over, directly over the peanut butter. Um, now, if you want something less in sugar, you could do cocoa nips um, and just do it the same way. Melt it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so with some coconut oil. Uh, just to cut out even more of that processed sugar. So I'm going to start just evenly spreading my chocolate around. I want a piece of chocolate in every bite as well. And then the last step is just to add those toasted pecans with the cinnamon that we toasted up previously in the beginning of this video. So I'm adding a lot because I love a good crunch. Um, but add as much or as little as you want. And this is something where you could totally play around and add like some shredded coconut or some dried cranberries, whatever your heart desires at this point, honestly. So next, a little bit more chocolate drizzle and some cinnamon. And then I also added some Celtic salt or you could add some flaky salt just to counterbalance all of the sweetness we have going on and it honestly just was giving life you guys like this was so delicious i highly recommend making it typically when i make stuff like this it doesn't come out as i anticipated it's not quite as delicious but this was delicious so the final step throw it in your freezer for about 30 minutes or so let everything set and then just start breaking away or you could cut it if you like, but um, I would rather just not dirty a knife. And I just went to town, breaking it in chunks, bite size, however you want. Here's the taste test, and it was delicious. So go make this. Come back and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.